Hi, Sean from Ashland with a viewer request a tutorial on Vectorworks sheet layer and viewport basics. I do have two other tutorials. They're about 20 minutes a piece, so they are long and very, very detailed about sheet layers and viewports. And I think this viewer was just saying, I, it's way too much for me right now. I just need to get the, a grasp of the basics. So that's what I'm going to do now. Real quick, real short tutorial. I'm going to link to the more complicated ones that give you all the in-depth information at the end of this tutorial. But this one's basically for just what does this all mean and how can I get started without all the extra details. So, um, so that's what this is. Uh, this is a prop that I need to do for a show that I'm uh, working on right now. And I have drawn this. I created the, the 3D model of this back in my main document that has the whole set in it with you know the whole show. And I need to create this plate here, this drawing. It's just an eight and a half by 11 sheet for the prop shop to build this little podium. Um, so what I've done here is I've created a new document just for this. Go back to the design layer here. And I went to the main model, just copied and pasted into this document, just this, here it is right there, the 3D uh, podium onto this sheet, just so that I could create this simple document, isometric document. I made sure that I rotated it back to the 90s, so it's nicely aligned on the 90s, on its own little design layer by itself. That's pretty much all you need to do. You need to think of this design layer. This is the place where you would do your drawing or do your modeling as the studio or the shop where you're going to create the actual stuff that's going to show up on your viewports. And you want to think about this as uh, kind of a sound stage where you've got default cameras coming from every every angle. All, all these angles basically, this sort of virtual camera is already set up here. You don't need to assign a camera. You can, of course, add a Vectorworks a Renderworks camera at some funny angle and refer to that camera if you wanted to get something that was sort of a non-orthographic camera. But again, that's more advanced. Uh, I'll talk about that later on some other tutorial. This now is just rotated to the 90s and set up for me ready to go. So now I can go, actually what you do if you were starting from scratch, you'd click right here on this little layer button, jump over here to sheet layers and select new. And then you'll give it the number of the sheet, the plate number that you'd want. And then you can title it here as well. You can call it whatever the name of the drawing is. And then say, okay, I'm gonna cancel and just use my existing one now. So I'm gonna jump over to this sheet layer here. There it is. And there's my four viewports. Each one of these little viewports is, you can think of viewports as uh, a closed circuit camera screen. So this is a, a camera that's pointing at the front of my little model back on the design layer. And here's one that's pointing at the right and one that's pointing at a, a right isometric view. You can't change the drawing from this viewport. You can go back to the the design layer and change the original and then it will update in all of the viewports. That's kind of a handy thing about that. So you need to think of these as sort of like display monitors, not a, a drawing in itself. Now the sheet layer is always going to be in full scale. So the only thing I drew on this layer was the border and the title block and that's drawn in full scale. Each one of these little viewports have their own scale. They all happen to be three quarter inch. That's the kind of unusual scale that I chose here to make it fit nicely on the page. Uh, but it can be any scale that you want. So what I'm going to do now is just select the uh, the front viewport and delete it. And we'll do it again from, from scratch so you can see how to set these up. I'm going to go to the view menu, pop that open and select create viewport. And then you're going to get this menu where you're going to spend a lot of your time. Uh, you want to get, give it a name if you want, but you definitely want to give it a title. I'm going to call it front view as it was, and then you can tell it what layer you want it to be on. We're only on, we only have the one sheet layer, so there's no selections here. Um, so I'm gonna leave it on that. And this is a particularly important thing that gets overlooked. I think people struggle with this because they don't, they skip over this option here. And then what you end up with is a, a little red box with an X in it. So if you're struggling, you're like, well, how come I can't see anything? If you've got a, a red box with an X, it's because you, you skip this step. You've got to tell Vectorworks where you want the uh, the camera set up. You know, what am I looking at here? I'm looking at design layer one. That's the layer where I have my actual model of the podium on. So I'm gonna turn that on. You can have 10 design layers here. You can have the visibility of three of them at, at, at visible and a couple of them at, uh, at grayed out and mix and match uh, all, all you want. But right now we've got the one layer and the set that layer visibility. And now I've told it what I want to, to be shown here. Everything in this model is on the none class, so I can skip that one, but I definitely want to give it a scale. If I just click OK now, then I'm going to have this gigantic podium. It's full scale. Uh, it's going to be much bigger than my piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this menu down and scroll up to that same three-quarter to the foot. There it is. And last thing I need to do is tell it 
I don't want top view, I've got that already, I wanna give it that front view. So again, here's all those default isometric views or orthographic views. Uh, click on the front view, and then I'm gonna do one last thing, I'm gonna switch from wireframe to, I like dashed hidden line, I think it looks nice. It's got a good uh, old school drafting look to it. And then I can say, okay, and then there it is. Whatever you see, scooch it over here, whatever you see one of these little candy stripe borders on it, that means that the, uh, the, the uh, viewport needs to be updated and in this case it needs to be updated because it's still in wireframe and I told it to draw it in this this nicer view so I can right click on the edge and select update over here if you have it selected you can grab uh, object info and select update right here and there's probably a pull down menu there's a couple of different ways to do this but any one of them will work so I'll just click on update right there and you can see it just took a second redrew the viewport now it got rid of that candy stripe border and there's a nice little hidden line drawing view of that uh, uh, front view of that podium. So I'm going to just nudge it up a little bit so it's kind of in line with the other one. And then if I start dropping uh, dimensions on here, if I got the dimension tool and start throwing on a dimension, like I'll just get the overall height here. What's the height of this? The height of this is three and an eighth inch. Well, remember, we're in full scale in the sheet layer. So that's three and an eighth inch on the piece of paper. So if you hit print, right now and you took a ruler and you put it down here, this this space from here to here would be three and an eighth inch in full scale, in real world scale. So I'm gonna delete that. The trick here is to select the viewport. So go ahead and select a viewport, right click or double click. There's a couple of different ways to get to this and say edit annotations. That's what you're after. Say edit annotations and now you're in this orange bordered hyperspace here, the viewport annotation window where now we are in three quarter inch scale. So you can draw in here if you wanna add some things, say there was some, some little objects that you wanted to be on the shelf that you wanted to be included in the drawing but wasn't there in your model. You could draw them in now or you could make little subtle changes uh, to to the drawing in this view. But, but you'd be drawing on top of the original thing. You can't like decide to, to move this shelf down uh, five inches here. You want to go back to your design layer to do that. But now if we go ahead and grab the uh, linear dimension tool here and click and snap here we're gonna get the actual four foot one and a half inch that's the actual height of this so the dimensions that we start snapping onto here are gonna be the real dimensions in in scale so that is, there's our two foot to that shelf there so that's that's the way that you add those one last thing I'll show you here is you're gonna add a drawing label simply by selecting that drawing label tool set that's in the uh, the drafting uh, dimension notes uh, tool set and I'm just gonna snap it over here to one of the other uh, labels and then click and click again. And you can see it's numbered it for me. One, two, three, and four. I've been automatically numbered. The title is automatically added and so is the scale. You can mess with all this, how this looks, the size of it, whatever, in the object info. More information on that in the more advanced tutorials. But that's pretty good now. So we can ed exit now. And then, okay, there you can see, there's my gigantic full scale uh, uh, layer. You can see how big those actually are in, in real world scale. So I'm going to go back to, whoops, click on that and say that's basically it. So now I've got a front view here. I could, I could add some notes. Uh, all of the things that I add inside the annotation will move with it. If I decide, you know, I want to scooch it to some other part of the drawing, all those things are going to go with it as long as they were drawn inside the annotation and you're ready to hit print and you're ready to create a, a terrific looking document. All four of these were done the exact same way. The only difference is I selected top view here and side view and right isometric. This has a little bit, a uh, few more uh, subtle changes to the, the way it's being drawn, but you can learn all about that in the more advanced tutorials that I'll link to here. And um, that should be enough to get you started doing a basic orth orth orthographic drawing with sheet layers and viewports in Vectorworks. If you remember to hit some of those those key things that I've just shown you, um, it's, uh, it's not all that complicated and it'll save you a bunch of time. Hopefully that was useful. Thanks a lot.